Number four, another sad tale um, that we have uh, and for an expedite request. So we have a case, um, and this is popping up more and more because the delays in F two A uh, spouse of a you know U.S. citizen, a spouse of a green card holder case and minor child of a green card holder, where a green card holder files for their spouse and child. Case is pending forever. Eventually, they naturalize the minor child drops off. Now, what uh, we should be able to do is just to direct filing for the child with the embassy so that I-130 for the child can catch up with the parents, you know, usually the moms, and uh, they go to embassy together. Well, we were dealing with one embassy, and they're just like, you did lead around for three months, and they give us nonsense answers. So we just gave up and, and just filed through USCIS and said, we'll do a expat request just to have to catch up, because I've done that before. Well, we did an expat request to USCIS. Phone operator said, yeah, we'll look into it. And then we got a denial of the expedite. Now the mom's going to have an interview today. And the kids I-130 is just pending for a month. Now we are we submitted a couple of days ago a request to a senator to look into this because it's kind of crazy because now the mom's going to get a visa and she's got six months to come. But how's she going to bring her minor child to the U.S.? I mean, because she can't. So it, it, it's in this no man's land right now. She can't come and she can't wait out the visa. She has to leave the kid home, come here, come back. It's just a, a necessary burden to put on people for ridiculous kind of reasons. Now, they have all sorts of programs, and I hope I'm not missing it, where if the child is born at a certain time or since and that, you can still get a man.